Hello. Once again, we have come to the time of the year when the whole world celebrates the most joyous season of the year. Some people celebrate by honoring the reason for the season, the birth of the child, Jesus Christ. Some people celebrate by the giving of gifts and others by preparing and eating special cuisine. No matter what the way of celebration, it seems that during the month of December, the entire world becomes more kind and joyous. During the month of December, people look forward to buying gifts, wrapping gifts, seeing family and friends, and singing and hearing some of the most beautiful songs ever written. Today, Hugh and his friends delight in celebrating the season with a musical celebration for you. We will tell the Christmas story through the singing of carols and songs of this wonderful season. We are delighted to have you sit back and enjoy Hugh and his friends as they perform some of the carols of the Christmas season. We will follow the events of the Christ child, his mother and father, from the prophecy of his birth through the visitation of the shepherds and kings. Then we will sing a carol of invitation to all people, those who are faithful, those who believe, and those who wish to become believers. The prophecy. The voice of one who crieth in the wilderness says, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. they were there, the time for the baby to be born had come, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped the babe in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. What a night! That night our Savior was born. It was a silent night and a beautiful, holy night.
taught us to love one another. His law is love, and his gospel is peace. Slave is a brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chords retreat, let all. On that blessed night, the angels appeared to announce the Savior's birth. They sang glory to God, peace on earth, goodwill to men.
There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people today. In the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. When the angel had left the shepherds, they said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. <clears throat> Oh, 
seems like we can't do right. Look how we treated you. But please, sir, forgive us, Lord. We didn't know it was you. After seeing the child, the shepherds were so overcome with joy that they all told whoever would listen that the Messiah had been born. Everything that the angel said was true, and they were witnesses to that fact. And so these shepherds were given the wonderful task of testifying to the truth that God had come to earth as a child born in Bethlehem. the shepherds were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. Now, when Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Some wise men in faraway countries saw the star and guessed what it meant. They were very clever men who studied the stars and had read in very old writings that a new star would appear when a great king was born. 
They set out to find the new king and bring him gifts. <laughs>
After the shepherds and the kings had visited and gone, Mary was left to treasure all of the things that had transpired. And she pondered all of these things in her heart.
Now, as we know, the celebration of Christmas is an opportunity to pause and give thanks for love, hope, and joy found in Jesus, the Savior and friend. As we experience the joy of Christmas by being with loved ones and exchanging gifts, we are reminded of the gift God gave us in Jesus, whose gift is to know that we are loved and that we are never alone and that we can have hope for the future. God's love is for everyone. You are not alone. You are loved and you can feel hopeful and joyful that this true meaning of Christmas and the invitation is offered to men and women everywhere.
hope that you have enjoyed our time together as we celebrate this beautiful time of the year. This was a gift to you from Hugh and his friends. Merry Christmas from Muriel. Happy holidays from Vanessa. Enjoy your holiday from Bernie Carey. Merry Christmas and season's greetings from Anita. Christmas peace and blessings from Augusta. Season's greetings, James. Feliz Navidad, Eddie. Happy holidays, Devon. Season's greetings and Happy New Year, Aaron. Merry Christmas, Kevin. And I'm Ron Hankins. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us. We certainly enjoyed singing these beautiful Christmas carols of this season for you. I hope that it gave you a good boost and makes you start your Christmas holidays with joy and thanksgiving. These are my friends. They have worked with me, supported me through many, many years, and I appreciate them and love them. And so now I and my friends wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, and we hope that you have a happy and prosperous New Year. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Yeah.